it comes to government-backed silver bullion, there are basically two heavyweights out there, the American Silver Eagle and the Mexican Libertad. Now, both are renowned for their silver content, liquidity, and artistic appeal, so it's only natural that we take them both and throw them into my virtual ring to see who stands supreme. It's going to be a fight to the finish, but only one can come out on top. You're definitely going to want to stay tuned. Well, what do you say, YouTube? What is going on? Welcome to another episode of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. And as always, I hope everyone's doing well, and I'd like to thank you for being here today to check out the new video. Uh, the amazing support you've given the channel is uh, really appreciated a hell of a lot more than you know. And uh, you already know what line comes next. Best damn community on YouTube. Hands down. So today, we're going to throw two silver heavyweights into the ring for a comparison fight. Uh, and see which one might be the better stacker, in my own personal opinion. Uh, we're going to throw the American Silver Eagle into the ring. Beautiful design. Beautiful design. Uh, notice I'm using the, uh, the old reverse and not the newer one. I prefer this one. And we're going to pit it against the Mexican Libertad. Another beautiful design. Amazing. Just absolutely beautiful silver. Now, I am not going to use the old Libertad design. Unfortunately, uh, I could very easily do it. But, you know, honestly, guys, I, I prefer this one over the uh, the newer design. This is amazing. That's amazing work. And uh, no reads on this one. It says, uh, what does it say? Independencia? Yeah, Independencia. And Libertad. How cool is that? Just an awesome coin awesome design uh, but we're not using that one today so we're gonna pit the two newer ones against each other and see what we come up with but first off really quickly really quickly I want to do a quick mail call uh, first one we got two here today first one is from poor man's gold and he has sent his new updated uh, decal these are cool good job on these dude these are amazing I like it I dig it uh, be sure to visit PMG at his channel. I've got a link in the description. Great content. Funny guy. He tells it the way it is. And uh, I love watching his stuff, to be honest. And we've got one more. And this one came a long way from New Caledonia. Holy cow. Uh, this is from NC Stacker. Beautiful, simple, simple decal. Nice. I love this one. Thank you so much. And uh, oh, we got a little envelope here, and I've already gone ahead and opened it. Of course, you knew that. And he gave us a, what is it? A one franc. 1912, how cool is that? Thank you so much. I love these. I actually do collect these. These and the uh, the Hercules. But we've already had that conversation, he and I. Uh, this is the female figure sowing seeds. Pretty popular design. And uh, it is, if I believe, 83.5% silver with about 0 0.13 uh Total ounces of silver. Very cool. Thank you, my friend. That was too kind. Too kind. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. But uh, all that being said, let's go ahead and roll it. All right, let's go ahead and introduce our fighters. First up and hailing from the USA is the American Silver Eagle. And the obverse design for the Eagle is the Walking Liberty by Adolph Weinman. And as you know, this same design was used on the Walking Liberty Half Dollars from 1916 to 1947. And since the design has uh, always been a favorite of the public, well, they went ahead and revived it for the Silver Eagle decades later. Now, the reverse up until mid-2021 featured a uh, heraldic eagle uh, that closely mirrored the Great Seal of the United States for the most part. But it was replaced by an eagle landing on a branch in 2021, and the design was met with, uh, let's just say... Uh, about as much enthusiasm as getting a root canal. Uh, some liked it, but the majority just couldn't get on board with it. I mean, people generally don't respond well to change and felt no changes were needed to freshen up the Eagle. Of course, opinions vary. Uh, me personally, I didn't care for the change either, but again, opinions vary. Next up and hailing from Mexico is the Libertad. And as we all know, the obverse of the Libertad features the coat of arms for Mexico, surrounded by past designs. Uh, the image with the eagle on the cactus eating a snake is uh, actually a reference to a legend where a god told the Aztecs to build their city where this eagle was observed eating the snake. But where the Libertad shines is on the reverse. Uh, it features the Angel of Independence in front of two volcanoes. And uh, those two volcanoes have uh, a story of their own if you look them up. 
pretty fascinating. But uh, the angel is also an actual statue in Mexico City. Now, oddly enough, the older Libertads, uh, they featured the angel facing you, and the edges were engraved with independencia instead of being reeded. All right, enough of all that. Let's go ahead and get this fight started. Round one is going to be cost, and I went with the American Silver Eagle on this one. Uh, it, I don't know. I've seen the Eagle for about 38 and 40, somewhere around that range. It's getting crazy, but the Libertad is going for more uh, in most cases. Uh, there are exceptions, but in most cases, the Libertad is the higher cost. Round two, artwork. Going with the Libertad, and it was an amazingly tough choice. Uh, both are fantastic. They really are. And uh, it was a very small margin that made me pick the Libertad. But I do prefer that artwork uh, for some reason. Round three is liquidity. Uh, well, the ASC does seem to enjoy more liquidity around the world. So there's that. Um, and there is no problem getting rid of your Libertads, though, when the time comes. I'm just going to go. I'm going to give the edge to the Eagle. Milk spotting. Got to go with the Lib. The advantage to the Libertad. Uh Silver Eagles do tend to spot. It happens. There's nothing you can do about it. We can complain all we want. It is what it is. But I have rarely seen spotting on a Libertad. So round four goes to the Libertad. Round five is intangibles. American Silver Eagle has a denomination and at least one security feature, as pathetic as it is. Uh, the Lib has no denomination or security features. So just basic intangibles. I went with the Silver Eagle. Round six, collectability. Libertads, uh, these, these both have their followings, but the Libertad seems to have uh, more appeal to collectors as far as bullying goes. And round seven, exclusiveness. I'm going to dig into this one, and it's going to decide the winner. Finish him! All right, round seven is where winners are made in this match, and our final category is going to be exclusiveness. Let's take a look at the minage numbers for both of these amazing silver bullion coins. Now, I'm not going to go through all the numbers here. Uh, you can see by the chart on the left for the Libertad and the chart on the right, uh, there are a whole hell of a lot more eagles out there than Libertads. I went back just to 2012, and during that time for the Libertads, they only went over a million one time in 2016. And after that point, they've been really low, 600, 300, 400, 300,000, 450,000, 550,000. That's low minage, folks. And then shift on over to the right, and you see that <laughs> we're putting out some Silver Eagles. I mean, they're in multi-millions. So totals at the bottom, since 2012, Mexican Mint has put out 6,926,700 Libertads. And the U.S. Mint, since 2012, has put out 329,490,500, approximately. <laughs> um, that's a lot of eagles, and it's it really helped me pick the winner in this category. So with a difference of 322,563,800 more eagles than Libertad since 2012, I'm going to go ahead and give round seven to Libertad. Uh, based on it being far more limited than the Eagle, giving it more rarity and collectability. Now, look, this was an extremely close, well-fought match, and it could have easily gone either way, guys. But since there can only be one winner, and based on this final category, I have picked the Libertad by a hair. <laughs> now, please keep in mind that this video was just for fun, and it was based on my own opinions. I absolutely love both the Eagle and the Libertad. And I look at them pretty much as equals. But again, this was just for fun. And uh, we're all entitled to our own opinions, right? Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. All right, all right. So there you have it. Two amazing government-backed bullion coins and one hell of a tough decision. But uh, hey, be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one you prefer and uh, which one you stack more of. Uh, you know, I love going through the comments and I do try to respond to each one. And also, one more shout out to uh, NC Stacker and Poor Man's Gold. Thank you so much for the mail call, you guys. Appreciate it. And uh, if you are not on my board, ask yourself why not. Look at all these cool channels up here. 
I'm missing yours. Why is that? Go ahead and send me your decals if you haven't. I'll send you mine and uh, we'll do a trade. Uh, but hey, get on my board, guys. Get on the board. But hey, all that being said, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Silver and Gold Stack Tag. If you made it this far, well, kudos to you. I'll definitely catch up with you in the next episode. But in the meantime, what's that mean man going to ask you? Damn right. He's telling you to get stacked. Stay safe and be well, everyone. I am out of here. Peace, folks. <laughs>